everybody, how's it going? Monday, remember last Monday when it was raining and I said I'd rather have it snow than rain? Well, this is what I got. Go! Just at my parents' place to let this little butt head out. Hey, you little butt face, you little butt head, what are you doing? Is it cold? Is it cold? All right, let's go inside. I'm having some more pizza today that you guys recommended to me uh, for frozen pizza. It's the Casa de Mama. This one is the three meats. And you know this one's good because it's the official pizza of the Canadian Football League. It's not too shabby. It turned out pretty good. It looks good. It smells amazing too. So my thoughts on the pizza were it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, one of the better frozen pizzas I would have to say. Casa de Mama, meat pizza, excellente. Now I gotta head back to work. I gotta leave a little bit early because the roads are gonna be, uh, they're gonna be slippery. A lot of snow coming down, slick and icy. I managed to drive to work today in pretty good time. Um, the snow is really bad. It's kind of windy and it's really slushy and yucky and icy and the roads are just not good, but good job everybody. You learned, you did a good job. You know how to drive in the snow and that's good. We're learning from our mistakes. So it was nice, calm drive, everyone drove well didn't see any accidents so good job also I like listening to different music when I drive in the snow one of my favorite songs to listen to when I'm driving in a snowstorm is well just the album uh, a soundtrack to interstellar I love that one driving that in the snow um, Park Avenue sobriety test by Joel Plaskett another good one to drive in the snow too and uh, another song I like to drive in the snow too is into the trap by John Williams from Return of the Jedi do you have any favorite songs you like to drive in the snow to? Let me know. We were uh, going to drive to the Niagara region last night after I was done work, but it was way too snowy. The roads were too bad, so we're doing it this morning. I'm just getting some gas at Costco, so that's where we're heading this morning. Towards Niagara. The roads are a little bit better, but my God, it is cold. Look at all the snow. There is a lot. So we're hanging out in Crystal Beach now. We drove here this morning. It wasn't too bad of a drive. Roads were certainly a lot better than last night, so I'm glad we, we waited to do that. Um, we just went out for breakfast, and now we're just hanging out this afternoon, and then um, my dad and I are gonna uh, head over the border to the States, to Buffalo, New York. We're gonna see the Buffalo Sabres play the New Jersey Devils, so that'll be a good time. Across the border, no issues. It's pretty cold, but we're gonna go get some dinner. Before the, the Sabres game, and then head over to the Key Bank Center after that. So, we're gonna eat dinner at the Pearl Street Grill and Brewery, which you guys recommended on Twitter. I asked you guys where to eat in Buffalo near the rink. This was the most common suggestion. So, let's find a way to get in here because it is really cold. Hello. Starting off with a pound of chicken wings, medium, and onion rings. Chicken wings, onion rings, round one. You can't go to Buffalo without trying some chicken wings. My dad got the quesadilla, and I got the jalapeno bison burger. With it. Looks pretty good. Those uh, fries look pretty tasty. We had no problem polishing off those chicken wings either. They were delicious. It wasn't that busy when we came in before, but it's getting closer to game time now, and this place is pretty full. We, uh, that was excellent. We ate a lot of food, but uh, now we're gonna walk a little bit of off. It certainly did not get any warmer out, that's for sure, but you burn more calories in the cold, so I guess that's good. I'm gonna head over to the rink now. Here we go, coming up on the Key Bank Center. It's been a couple years since I've been to an NHL game, three or four more. I know it's been at least five years since I've been here to a Buffalo Sabres game. Looking forward to it. We go up the stairs rather than the escalator to work off some some of that dinner. I love this rink. It's a beautiful arena. This is my I think my third time being here. And I just always have a good time. I love coming to NHL games. It's a lot of fun. Section 121. There we go. Seats one and two. Pretty good seats. The last time I was here I I had a broken leg and I sat two rows from the top. So it was a long way up there. 
I also had to stay there when I had to pee because I did not want to walk down the stairs. Welcome to the ice, your Buffalo Sabres. I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, so I don't really have a team to root for in this one. Well, it's not true. I actually have a couple of players on my fantasy team uh, from New Jersey. So uh, Keith Kincaid, the goalie for New Jersey, Andy Green is a defenseman, and uh, Travis Zajac. So. I think I'm rooting a little bit against the home team tonight. Don't tell anybody here, but I'm hoping New Jersey wins because that will score me some fantasy points. The Oregon. Do I dare? I probably shouldn't. I'll probably get in trouble. And the second best part of the hockey experience is the Zambonis. Welcome to the ice, your Buffalo Sabres. Candy waffle cone here. It's ranked number seven in the top ten craziest arena foods. Looks like a pretty good sugar high. I don't know if I'll go with that. I just went with the original chocolate ice cream and a waffle cone. Good enough for me. Nice little second intermission dessert. the game. Everyone's out of here. And it is still not any warmer out. Back now from the hockey game. Man, that was a really awesome game. Keith Kincaid got the win for me. One goal against. Not too shabby. That's good for my fantasy team. Andy Green, I think he was plus two. Two penalty mints. Gonna help my team. And Travis Ajak didn't really do get a uh, shot on goal, so that's okay. Didn't do anything bad, so that's good for my team too. So all in all, it's a good time. Had a lot of fun with my dad. Anyways, it was awesome. Nora's all fed up. It's bedtime. You ready for bed? <laughs> you having a good time? Wow, she's a natural vlogger already. <laughs> This is Nora's first attempt in her jolly jumper. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! Yay! Hey, it's Friday. And look at my mop on my head. I got a mop head. I need to get my hair cut. So that is what I'm going to do today. Look at that. It kind of gets long. I mean... It's long for me. I know it's not long for some people, but I don't know. I'm gonna get a cut. Hopefully, it'll look better. It usually does. And that is my new haircut. What do you think of that? Huh? Let me uh, let me know what you think of that. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. I don't usually get a cut so short on the side, but I don't know. See the back. Yeah. Let me know what you think.